rising like the smoke you linger on me you got me so high i can finally breathe Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impressions on the new Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette and because I'm black eyeliner, this collection was just so beautiful. The campaign photos, Rihanna looks stunning, all the models look stunning, the palette itself is stunning and the colors were just calling my name. I was able to get my hands on it by going to the Fenty Beauty New York City pop-up that they had. They had a three-day pop-up event and I was able to go to the second day and get my hands on the palette. Um, and I'm just so in love. I, I'm absolutely in love, like I love the way my makeup came out. I think it looks so good. The palette is of such great quality. If you wanna know more of my thoughts and my full review on the palette, then make sure you keep watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to join the fam. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. So I um, used concealer and primed my eyelids. I don't really use an eyeshadow primer. Um, I just like concealer, concealer works for me. So let's get on to the fun part. The Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice collection. I have the palette. I'm pretty sure it's just the palette because the only other thing that came with the collection was brushes and an eyeliner. And I got the eyeliner. Oh, and there was an eyeshadow primer too, but I didn't buy that because I don't really, like I said, I don't really use eyeshadow primers. I use concealer as my eyeshadow base, but I did swatch it on the back of my hand and it literally did not come off for the entire day. I want, I went to the bathroom multiple times, washed my hands with soap and water. It didn't come off. It rained. I got caught in the rain. It was still there. Like I literally had to get home and scrub my hand for the eyeshadow primer swatch to come off. So, but the two items that I got from the Moroccan Spice collection are the uh, liquid liner in Cause I'm Black. Okay, so for the Moroccan Spice palette, this is the outer packaging that comes with it. And then it has the names of all the eyeshadows on the back. Rich velvety color. Ultimate staying power, limitless day to night looks for every mood. This palette, when I saw it, it was screaming to me because it has the perfect amount of warm shadows. Well, I already dirtied up the outside with my fingerprints, but can we get into this beautiful packaging? Like, low key, high key matches my hair. But yeah, when I saw this, this eyeshadow palette, I use my Galaxy palette all the time, which is the only other eyeshadow palette that um, Fenty has released and that was like in the that was like released in October like before Halloween I remember and I still use that palette all the time because it's all shimmer shadows and I feel like it's the perfect companion palette to go with like an all matte palette but this one has mattes and shimmers and there's a mirror I mean we love a palette with a mirror especially when you're traveling that's just a bonus and it's like a huge mirror too but yes this palette has some shimmer like foiled shadows and it has matte shadows and I just really love it because you have your warm shades um, your browns and reds and tans and golds and then she still has some cool shades in here as well which I really really love so honestly you can achieve any look and also the names are super cute. Let me just read you some of them. There's Hennessy, Henna C, Maracouche, Casablanca, Mirage, Sahara Stunna, Shisa, Shisha, she, Shisa, I can't say that word, Shisa Smoke, Mo Rockin Ice, Mo Rockin. Come and get it. If you're ready, come and get it. Na, 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 na. That's the only thing that comes to mind when I hear that. I'm gonna take this big Morphe M511. It's a great blending brush. Oh, and another fun fact. The Poppin' Blue, which is, what shade is this? Evil Genie. 
and the palette is the green tealish blue color that Rihanna had on in the Wild Thoughts music video that everybody was recreating the following day and for weeks to come. Okay, let's go into quick sand. Oh, this one is a, there's like a little bit of a shimmer, t not a shimmer, but like, it's like a satin shadow. It's not completely matte. Yeah. Um, but so far, so good. I feel like I should do something to like match my hair. Ooh, like a pink glam. I feel like I haven't done pink in like a minute. This is so pretty. This is honestly popping. And that blended out really nicely. Like I wasn't expecting such a simple, cause it looks so simple in the palette. Like it's definitely a good transition, but you don't expect much from it. You, you know, you know you're gonna put like other shadows on top of it, but on its own, like goodness, that is stunning. This palette was perfect timing for summer. Like seriously, this is all you need. I'm gonna use my Morphe R39 and I'm gonna pick up Saffron. These colors are very pigmented, like. It's definitely worth the $60 that I spent. How many shadows do you get? One, two, three, four. 16 shadows for $60. So it's three dollars and 75 cents for each eyeshadow so we're doing a little cut crease um i feel like i haven't done a cut crease on my channel in a minute so we're cutting the crease uh i'm using my nars soft matte complete concealer this is the same thing that i use as a eyeshadow base for my lid and my favorite Crease cutting brush, this is the Sigma E21. Yes, matching cut creases. For the shimmer shadows, if shimmer, foil, metallic, I don't even know. For the Galaxy palette, if it's the same formula, I just use my finger and that, that should just pop in, okay? She don't need no spray, nothing, like she is pigmented she's there so let's see if it's the same deal I'm gonna take Sahara Stunna which is this really pretty pink shade on my ring finger Ooh, it's really smooth oh I was right Wow so pretty this is exactly what I was going for. Okay, I'm gonna do pink and I'm gonna use this specific shadow. That is so pretty. It makes my eye look wet, like my eye looks wet. Honestly, I haven't been this excited about makeup in a minute. Like I haven't bought new makeup in so long. Like I haven't been yearning to buy new makeup, but this like, this I really wanted. So I'm gonna take Moroccan Ice, which is the white one right up here. Can you see that? It's like white, but it has pink. It's a duochrome pink too. And put it right on top and see what that do. See what it, ooh. <gasps> that looks so cute. Yeah. That. That did something. Oh, my, 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 my. I'm gonna take, what shade is this? Fez Up. Crease blending brush. This is my Morphe M507. And I'm going to pack this right here on the outer third. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she's cute all right so now on to the liner this is the fenty beauty by rihanna eyeliner this is the packaging it's in the shade 
because I'm black. Because I'm black, baby. Okay? Rihanna said, because I'm black, honey. Don't come for me, because I will come for you. I swatched this at the pop-up shop. This also was transfer proof once it dried down. It was waterproof and it was long wearing. So, you know, I had to get it. Plus, I really like felt tip liners. And this one, the point is so sharp. I feel like you could really get like some sharp, some sharp bomb liner. So. Wow, this eyeliner is popping and I haven't even finished my wing liner yet. That was so easy because of how sharp the liner is. Like the felt tip pen is so sharp. Rhea, you really did that. Like, I'm really proud of you, sis. How? How? How, Sway? How? How? It's because this is literally perfection perfection in a bottle that is perfect i can't i'm just i keep looking at my liner in the monitor because how did i do that but i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face so i can come back finish the eyes with you guys and then give you my final thoughts on the moroccan spice palette so i'll be right back okay okay so i'm back my face is pretty much on i'm gonna go back in with the moroccan spice palette and do my lower lash line quick sand and i'm gonna apply this on my lower lash line and i really want to blow this out also i have like some creasing going on because my under eyes dry because of my eczema so i kind of want to disguise that with some eyeshadow and when you do like a really smoky lower lash line it's almost impossible to see your under eye creasing then i'm gonna go into this is my sigma e57 and i'm gonna take the second shade that we used in the crease which was saffron and i'm gonna run this right along the lash line and then i'm gonna take a flat morphe e43 and the purple shade in the palette which was fez up and basically take this right under my waterline along my lash line for the inner corner, I'm going to use Moroccan Ice, which was the sh second shade we used on the lid. And I'm going to... So pretty. Oh, that, that really did something for this whole look. Wow, that is so pretty. Just going to apply some mascara. This is the Pure Fully Charged Mascara. For lashes, I'm going to be using Swank Lashes in the style Krista. I've worn these lashes at least 20 times. Whoa, why do I look orange? And then for highlight, I'm not going to do Trophy Wipe today. You know I love me some Trophy Wipe. I'm going to go into Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Yeah. We're gonna just complete the look with a pink blush because, whoa. For my lips, I'm gonna take Bittersweet Liner by MAC. Got your Chola Liner. And then I'm taking the Queen Collection um, CoverGirl Liquid Lipstick in Catwalk. This. Lip combo is everything. And because this lip is kind of brown, which you know I don't mind, but I'm gonna add this pink beach cosmetics gloss. This is in nude rose. Lip is a little brown, so just to add back that pink. 
Alrighty, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's first impressions of the new Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. And because I'm black liner, these two products I highly, highly recommend. I absolutely love both of them. The quality, um, the pigmentation, just the packaging, like everything just makes it worth it. I honestly love Fenty Beauty. There isn't anything that they've come out with that I feel like is not well representative of their brand and the kind of products that they want to put out but anyway if you enjoyed today's video then make sure you give me a thumbs up down below don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam you can go ahead and click the notification bell and turn on your notifications i'll be uploading twice a week from now on so make sure you turn on your notifications that way you can be notified when i do upload i love you guys and thank you so much for watching bye